so this is going to be a short video series on uh, machine learning laboratory as per vtu syllabus uh, the programs and uh, how do you run stuff uh, so yeah so this is the these are the programs that we, we have for the lab and uh, uh, we want to use uh, jupyter notebooks uh, in the following video series uh, you can just launch them through the Anaconda Navigator. If you haven't had Anaconda installed on your computer yet, uh, head over to anaconda.com. Uh, here in the download section, you'll find uh, the relevant uh, information. Uh, yeah, I can just download it here. The 3.7 version should do. Um, okay. And uh, like this video is probably going to be a brief introduction to Jupyter Notebooks because uh, I think uh, it will help uh, understanding uh, how Jupyter Notebook works to uh, work your way through programs. So yeah, all right. So this is uh, a Jupyter Notebook. So when you run a Jupyter Notebook from either the Anaconda Navigator or if you just type, uh, this should uh, show up. Uh, so when you launch it, uh, this should open in your default browser. So this is the file structure uh, at your uh, home directory. Uh, you can create a new file uh, by clicking on the new icon and we're going to create a new Python 3 notebook. Um, yeah, so Jupyter notebook uh, code is organized by dividing them into cells. So each of these is a cell. Uh, if you type code here, uh, and if you press Shift Enter, uh, it runs that particular code cell. Uh, you could alternatively use this, uh, which both have the same uh, implication. Uh, this shows the amount of times a particular cell has run. Uh, when there's a blue line, it means the cell is selected, but when there is a green uh, line across the box, it means that the contents of the cell are selected. Uh, if you feel like, if you want to delete a particular cell, uh, make sure it's in the blue line. To toggle from the green selector to the blue selector, uh, you could either click outside of the box or you could just hit escape once, so it toggles. Uh, if you hit X, it deletes a particular cell. If you press B, it inserts a cell below. Um, I'm gonna delete it. If you press A, it's gonna insert a cell above. Uh, there are a list of shortcuts. Uh, if you just go to the IPython reference, um, you have all the documentation for the IPython notebooks, and you also should have uh, keyboard shortcuts here. Uh, you know, you could go through this if you want to be really uh, fast with Jupyter Notebook. So what essentially we're trying to do with Jupyter Notebook, instead of writing the whole program at once and uh, running it on a Python interpreter, uh, what we plan to do with Jupyter Notebooks is you can break your, break your code into cells uh, so that you can uh, look at outputs uh, wherever you want and that would uh, help keep the code a little bit clean and a little bit organized and uh, it would help. So that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, you could uh, change the title of your notebook here. You can rename it to program one. Uh, that will work. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that was a brief introduction to uh, Jupyter notebooks. Uh, I hope you don't have any problem setting up and installing uh, Jupyter notebooks. Uh, if this is out of the way, we could uh, start uh, going forward with the program's execution.